Welcome into the Duke football game day preview. Hard to believe that there are only two games left in the football regular season. This week, the Blue Devils traveling up to Charlottesville, Virginia to play the University of Virginia Cavaliers. 3.30 kickoff time for them on ESPN3. Now let's get into some of the details surrounding this game. Duke riding a three-game losing streak into Charlottesville, and they're looking to snap that against a team that they've had success against historically. The Blue Devils are 6-1 and one during the Cutcliffe era against UVA. Virginia has had a tough schedule, and right now they're sitting at 3-7, and 2-4 and four in the ACC, playing the likes of UCLA, Notre Dame, Pittsburgh, Carolina. So they've definitely had their work cut out for them. Most of their losses, in fact, come by a touchdown or less. So a talented squad in Charlottesville this year, but one that hasn't been able to get the wins. And when you look at this team across the board, they're extremely talented and physical, a large team and a good looking team that's gonna pose several threats for the Blue Devils on both offense and defense. We'll first take a look at UVA offensively. They're led by quarterback Matt Johns. He wears the number 15 jersey. Their offense is predicated on the run. They like to run it up the middle and get the ball outside using running back Taquan Mizell. He is their leading rusher and also happens to be their leading receiver because what they do is get him out in the flats. They like to run bubble screens, extension of their running game outside, stretching the field horizontally. The Blue Devils need to match the Virginia Cavaliers physicality up front through the offensive line, take away the running game in the middle. That way the defensive backs can be keyed in to making tackles in space on the perimeter that can effectively shut down the Virginia offense. Flipping it over to the other side of the football, Duke's offense with hopeful return by Thomas Sirk, the starting quarterback, will have a challenge of their own in facing another physical front. You look at the roster and they're, they're a large defensive line and they can make plays. They're led though by sophomore safety Quinn Blanding who a year ago was the ACC Defensive Rookie of the Year. He's all over the field and leads the team in tackles. Again, a, a team that you look at and are a very physical bunch, a talented group, but have struggled with making the big play. You look at their defensive statistics and they only have two interceptions on the year, an area that they've struggled with. And then offensively, to look back, Matt Johns, their quarterback, has thrown 14 interceptions. So that leads us into one of the big keys of the game is the turnover battle. The Duke offense needs to hold on to the ball and put together drives that end in touchdowns, not field goals or missed opportunities in the red zone, which is something that has been a struggle for this team through the first 10 games of the season. And they need to match the physicality. This is a hard hitting game. Last year was a close one in Durham that the Blue Devils won. Two years ago in 2013, the last time Duke made a trip to Charlottesville, Virginia got out early and Duke was able to fight back to regain the lead and, and ultimately get a win on the road. It can be a hostile environment and Virginia's done pretty well playing at home. They have all three of their wins come within the confines of Charlottesville. So the Blue Devils need to go up there with a focused mentality, but one of expecting to hit, expecting to out physical this Virginia team. And they need to get things done, execute extremely well, especially on the offensive side of the ball in the red zone. Again, a rivalry game of sorts, a fun game, a great Coastal Division matchup and pitting two teams against each other that are both extremely hungry for wins late in November. Tune in, 3.30 p.m. on ESPN3. Thanks for tuning in to the Duke Football Game Day Preview. I'll see you again next week.